the earthworm and the spider. In this fantasy story, you will read about a village called Koi, which is cut off from the outside world. Fantasies are often set in imaginary places, where unusual things happen. Authors write for many reasons, but the main ones are to inform or teach us about something, to persuade us, to believe something, or to entertain us. Sometimes an author may have more than one purpose. Once upon a time, there was an isolated village called Koi. It was located between the Eagle Mountain and the Rushing River. Grandfather feared for his people. We must find a way to reach out to other villages, to trade, exchange stories and make friendships. If we do not, Koi will one day fade away. Villagers were afraid that strangers will find their precious fire flower. One day he saw a pink earthworm wriggle out of the soil and a spider building a web between two blades of grass. Grandfather knew what the people of Koi must do. They started building a tunnel and a bridge. Grandfather was the first one to cross the bridge. When he returned, a stranger came with him. He invited him to his home. The stranger brought a gift to share it with him. It was an ice flower. Our village is still small and quiet, but we are no longer shut away from the world.